Crepe myrtles, what a beautiful woody plant. Some people might call it a shrub, some people might call it a small tree, but they're well established in many landscapes and many people, probably this is on their top 10, uh, top five list of woody plants to, to establish in their landscape. Can't go wrong with a crepe myrtle. But never say never when it comes to a plant. There is a new insect that is becoming established in the Nashville area, but not just the Nashville area, southeastern United States. So it is called the crepe myrtle bark scale. Now it is a, a brand new species that was discovered. It was first reported in, of all places, Texas, uh, a northern Dallas neighborhood. And so this was around 2004. Then it was documented. And now, as scale insects go, they, they're not very mobile. They're mobile on a plant because they can crawl around, but they don't fly. Even though the male insect turns into a minute, tiny flying insect, smaller than a gnat, and that's just so he can move around and mate with females, then he dies shortly. So how is this crepe myrtle spreading from, from Dallas, Texas area in 2004 to when it was found in Germantown, Tennessee, outside Memphis in 2013. And then it became widespread. Every crepe myrtle was turning black in Germantown. Now, why'd that happen? Well, this little insect called a scale insect, and it's, uh, it's not truly defined as a hard scale or armored scale or a soft scale. So it's kind of in between. It looks a little white, grayish, off-white, and it looks felty. Now the term felting, I have some friends that do felting and make dolls. So they, they excrete this waxy filament and it masks together. So sometimes they're referred to as a felt scale. Now the trouble is they will go unnoticed for several years until something like this happens, escalates into an explosive population. Now this is the sample I took many years ago out of Germantown, Tennessee. I was doing a workshop there. And if someone had never seen a crepe myrtle and they drove into Germantown and someone pointed out a crepe myrtle, they would have seen that all crepe myrtles were black. The trunks, the stems, the leaves, everything was black with white spots on them. And you would think, well, why is that a desirable landscape plant? It's not very pretty at all. Well, that was the issue. This scale insect started moving about. Now, how did it spread? If it can't fly, well, it's a hitchhiker. So we theorize that probably birds landing or nesting in a crepe myrtle, even an insect, when the small nymphs, the crawlers are active and crawling around on the stems and the leaves, they crawl onto an animal, take a free flight, come to another area, come to another neighborhood. Then around 2010 and 2012, they started finding reports in uh, Arkansas, Louisiana, Oklahoma, and, and then the population of these scale insects exploded. But when it came into Germantown, all the crepe myrtles in a few years started turning jet black. I mean, jet black, and they were so unsightly. And then it was identified as a specific Asian exotic introduced scale insect. And it never seen before in North America. So now we got a really major problem with this crepe myrtle bark scale because they do cover up the bark. Now in this sample I have here, you can't even see the bark. The bark is covered up with, with a high population of white female scales, and there would be little baby scales called crawlers. And then once they hatch in the spring around the month of May, they crawl out and they settle on part of the plant. The males turn into a little flying insect they mate, and so this cycle goes on. We think there's about two generations a year in our area. So a few years after it was found in Germantown, Tennessee, it starts showing up in Davidson County. We found some sites, neighborhoods in Wilson County. I have found it in Old Hickory, Tennessee and Antioch, Tennessee. There are gonna be other areas where, where it hasn't been reported. So I'd like to, people to keep their eyes out because there's not enough extension agents to do this work. So if you look at this sample, which also came from Germantown, you can see the white spots and those are crape myrtle bark scale. Now they're dried and dead on this sample, but notice that the leaves are not green anymore. They're turning black. The black comes from sooty mold. Now it's a fungal organism, but it's not a disease. We don't call it a pathogen. So where does the sooty mold come from? Well, 
Scale insects are insects that, that feed on the plant sap from the plant. They have a, a unique mouth part that punctures the leaf and gets inside the twigs, and they suck out all the liquid diet. So they excrete a liquid diet, and what comes out, entomologists, we call this a cute name, we call it honeydew. And if you tasted it, not that I would encourage people to do that, and go, that's kind of sweet. Well, sure it is, it's plant sap, full of sugars. So what happens when that sticky plant sap falls on the leaves, on the stems, on, on the ground around the plant? Black spores of sooty mold find it and go, wow, this is a food source. So they start growing and they proliferate. And then the plant is no longer green. It doesn't have beautiful exfoliating bark. Everything turns black because sooty mold grows everywhere. Now it got to the point to control these there was a lot of uh, chemical sprays, uh, horticultural oil, systemic insecticides, to the point some trees were so badly damaged, it was so hard to control them, they cut them to the ground. Well, that was a good thing because you know what? You got a whole new plant that grew out. Then you had to watch it again because the scale insects are now coming back. And in Memphis area in, in Germantown, it took about five years for them to get this under control. So we want people to look out and scout and look in their landscapes for little white specks, little tiny white spots, little tiny spots would be evidence of crepe metal bark scale. If you find this, we'd like you to call the local extension agent for the University of Tennessee, and that could be me. And so we want to uh, isolate these problematic areas and, and try to get a good management control on this to prevent it from spreading. So we want crepe myrtles to be a beautiful landscape plant once again and not turn black and ugly because of Craig Little Bark Scale. For inspiring garden tours, growing tips, and garden projects, visit our website at volunteergardener.org or on YouTube at the Volunteer Gardener channel and like us on Facebook.